It's the second time I rebuild the lab from the, from the ground up. It's really an exciting um, moment for a lab when you uh, build the lab and acquire a new instrument. I'm trying to have an instrument that can foresee some new developments and new applications for the next, uh, the next 10 years. The prize that I'm particularly proud of was the Betancourt Prize for Life Science. The project that I had submitted was to uh, analyze uh, tRNA modifications and how modifications might also influence their structure and stability. tRNAs are involved in the transcription, but it's one of the most heavily chemically modified uh, RNAs. There are about uh, 15 modifications sometimes on uh, an RNA of 75 bases. Up to now, their characterization is either through entire digestion or through uh, bottom-up sequencing. But with a, at an intact level, we could also correlate if a modification on one end is correlated with the, uh, the presence of a modification on the other end. And that information you can only have if you analyze at the intact level. We wanted to acquire the Omnitrap uh, platform as the Swiss army knife for mass spectrometry in terms of combining different tools to fragment your ions. Teams Omni was a kind of a dream instrument that I wanted for a long time. We were using um, trap mass spectrometers, uh, but they were quite low resolution, uh, coupled uh, to lasers. We had been using ion mobility, and also we had been using FTICR with high resolution and electron-based uh, dissociation. And the Teams Omni is kind of bringing all of this together in a single instrument. On the single platform, we can do both biophysics, characterization of modifications, uh, really high-end mass, uh, mass spectrometry, and also um, study new modes of fragmentation. We have several parameters to, that we can play on. We can play on the charge state selection. Is it a compact or uh, elongated structure due to the charge state? And then we can combine um, electron detachment dissociation with the electron gun. We uh, can combine a slow heating CID. Uh, and the special thing also that we uh, have modified uh, to our instrument is the coupling of uh, lasers. So also with the, uh, the assistance uh, of Brooker and Fasmatec, uh, we have now um, an infrared laser and a UV laser. And we can now synchronize them with the uh, Omnitrap and do experiments, uh, for example, electron detachment dissociation to produce radicals, followed by infrared irradiation to fragment the radicals with RMPD, for example. What we have in the lab is a prototype. Uh, and we are constantly learning and also improving our way to manipulate the ions and activate them in uh, different ways. We have the opportunity to have close contact uh, with Brooker and Fasmatec and they help us also even design um, new pulse programs and new ways of activating the ions. So it's very dynamic uh, exploration right now of the different uh, fragmentation combinations. So it's very prof profitable, I think, hopefully both ways. But for us it is profitable, definitely. We advance in our research uh, faster, I think, thanks to this collaboration. Mm -hmm.